a while back we posted that we will be building a replica E30 M3 so as close to identical as possible right uh, I didn't post up the kit that we've ordered this is thanks to an E30 garage Norway uh, it's not a fiberglass kit this is metal all the way around here so metal kit up here uh, this car has got quite a bit of rust so we've got a lot of fabrication to do here you can have a look at the battery tray uh, that's that is totally gone the floorboards are totally gone on this vehicle here so we're gonna fab quite a bit on this car we started cutting out already um so here's a c pillar this is the difference in the e30 m3 c pillar here so the skin is gonna come off at the bottom and so on uh paul paul are you taking the skin off at the bottom as well So the skid is going to come off at the bottom under the seat pillar and on the fenders as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. So basically there's nothing coming over this fender here. I'll show you the metal fenders that came up, but this here is the E30 M3 replica that will be done this year as well. Uh, the color option that we chose on this guy is black. So we're still busy with interior. Uh, in the next clip, I'll show you the motor that's coming up here. Uh, no, it's not an M30 motor. It's not an S54 motor. It's an S14 B23 motor. So yeah, stay tuned for this here. This is gonna be another build here. Here are the fender arches now. This is full metal arches. Again, I'm gonna reiterate, these are not fiberglass arches. So they are full metal arches. That's the rear arches that's coming on. So as Paul explained to us, we are not, we are not putting it over this fender here we're basically cutting the skin off getting the skin off this guy here putting the new fenders on putting the new seat pillar on there so this is going to be something nice we're going to get this as close to as it came out of the factory as possible the portlet i got on order as well the front bumper and rear bumper is on order i told you guys s14 motor dog leg gearbox so whatever you see in the e30 m3 this is this is what this baby is going to get so just stay tuned keep up with the page keep up with the bulbs uh, I'll try and keep you guys updated as far as possible and I will show you this motor now shortly So this is the M3 motor uh, S14 it's a 2.3 This is the motor that's going into the identical replica that we're building So yes normally again, I'm gonna reiterate this here is that Everybody talks about a replica and then what motor do they put in? Normally they'll go for E36 or so now I see the E46 is the in thing. So we are going identical. Identical. We've bought this motor a year ago. I have put up a post basically on my Facebook page. But now we're finally going in ahead with the build. The body is getting done. The kit is here. Uh, there's one or two parts missing from the kit. Uh, they'll come back from overseas. Or we'll, we'll get it from overseas from our supplier there. But it's a full on metal kit. So nothing is fiberglass in there um the gearbox obviously is the one down box we know it in the south africans know it as a one down overseas will know it as the dog leg or the 262 uh that's a gearbox for you there's a lot of work still to be done on here we're gonna rebuild this motor we're gonna freshen it up the client did want to build a stroker we're gonna do some research on the stroker and see what's available what's not available but we need to still get a lot of parts for it as you can see the harness is not here uh distributor gaps etc 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 so this is going to be quite interesting i'm going to keep you guys updated on this here so yeah stay tuned <laughs> 